My name is Hajar Ben Sharada. I am uh, actually from Tunisia, so uh, yeah, one other member of the African diaspora, and uh, I'm living in uh, in Berlin, in Germany. I moved to Germany ten years ago. It was for uh, after finishing high school in Tunisia to finish my studies here, and uh, I did my bachelor's and master's in engineering. And I happen to stay here because um, yeah, things are easy here and it's easy to get a job. So uh, yeah, I stayed in Germany, and um, yeah, it has been like three years now since I finished my studies and uh, I started working. And um, yeah, I would say this is. This is basically my story. I'm in the energy sector, I am a management consultant, and um, I really like uh, being active in my free time in uh, civil society initiatives and NGOs. And this is how Diaspora and Action came into into life. I would say. And it's interesting. So, of course, uh, if you are working with the Diaspora organization and it's called uh, Diaspora for Action, of course, I don't need to ask you again if you believe in, in what. We're the body, which is uh, the connection, because it is very important that we, we now have to network among ourselves and sort of help ourselves out, uh, which is the, 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 the real idea behind the, this uh, particular section of the project. Okay, now let's remain a little bit about where you are, which is Berlin. Tell me a little bit of, uh, about Berlin. Let's help somebody who uh, maybe do not know Berlin. Give us a picture of what is going on there right now. <laughs> Berlin, yeah, that's, that's a very good question. Um, I actually I moved to Berlin three years ago, and I really love it here. It's a, it's a very diverse city, very international, open for foreigners in that sense. It's very diverse, and also I would say very liberal. And uh, I mean liberal, and it's, it's like yeah, two faces of the same coin. I would say like people here are like really open. You can be different, uh, and nobody will judge you. So it has a very open spirit and uh, a very liberal one. So this is one thing that I like, and. The, Thanks to that, uh, it's like there's a big international community, like you meet people from different cultures here. There is a lot going on, like in terms of cultural events, uh, in terms of food, you find a lot of things. Uh, so yeah, it's really interesting. The only issue with Berlin, I would say, is the weather. So here people say you have, uh, we have three seasons of winter and one season of summer. So it's like uh, nine months winter and one month of summer, unfortunately. <laughs> And you would have prepared both summer, right? I prefer whole year summer, to be honest. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is that is great. Okay, now let, let's go back to the main uh, topic that we have today, which is the diaspora connect, the um, the project that you are working on. You are the, the coordinator of uh, the diaspora action uh, group. Now, tell me about this. How did this start? Yeah. Uh, so it started with a. A couple, like a group of people who think uh, in the same way. Uh, we are like the co-founders. We are around five co-founders. We are all from the Tunisian diaspora. And what we thought is we are all good educated. There are like, in the, especially in the last 10 years, I'm not sure how aware you are like about the situation in Tunisia, but like there has been the revolution in 2010. And since then the political situation is better in the sense we have democracy in our country and we have freedoms of speech, but unfortunately the economy is not doing well. So this has led to a lot of people leaving the country and like this um, kind of phenomenon has been strengthening a lot in the last year. So everyone who can leave the country would leave it, either legal or illegal, I would say. But like, like yeah, I would say more, our focus is more on the legal side of things. And uh, another word for this phenomenon is also brain drain. So a lot of good educated people uh, are leaving the country either to study or uh, to, to work abroad and mostly in Western countries or so like in Europe and the US or yeah, like in Asia. So we thought, um, yeah, let's let's think about how we can solve problem or like how we can change the narrative about brain drain. Let's make it something positive. So yeah, it's true that a lot of brains are leaving the country, but maybe there is a way in order to leverage on this resource. So there is a lot of Tunisians like highly skilled, like working in key positions, either in corporate or in government or like in science uh, abroad outside of the country. And if leveraged in the right way, they can uh, make or add a huge value to their own country. So this is the kind of issue that we wanted to work 
So we found ourselves like we were a group of around five co-founders. Uh, we said, let us uh, find a structure to work in. We co-founded uh, Diaspora in Action, which is a nonprofit NGO. And since then, our story started. It was not easy in the beginning, I would say, because brain drain is a huge problem. It's not something to come money and build something. It's a bit uh, abstract as a problem. And it requires a lot of effort to build this network. And you, you mentioned the word networking. This is also one of the things that we want to work on. Things that we work on. And what we said is it's exactly as you, as, as you are saying, like when we are part of the same body and when we manage to connect uh, like the dots, each other, then we probably can uh, push people to do uh, to do like productive things. So I would mention like one of the projects, or like it's basically our main project that we are working on, that we call the Diaspora in Action Platform, which is a digital platform which should uh, serve as a basis for the Tunisian diaspora worldwide to connect with each other, to learn uh, from each other, and to collaborate with each with each other. So it was very important for us to have the three different axes uh, along which our platform uh, acts or like uh, delivers or like uh, delivers value. In the sense, we start with connect. Uh, so connect basically is that you get to know who are the people who are living around you, who are like also from the Tunisian diaspora or who have the same interest with you. And you can connect uh, and uh, some like um, product like yeah, productive relationships can come out of that. For example, you can build a mentor mentee relationship in that sense. So, this is like the first access connect and then learn, especially also getting back to the mentor mentee example. You can learn from people who have more experience than you in your uh, specific uh, field, or you can learn from people in different fields. So this is like the learn aspect. And the, the third aspect, which was very important for us, we said we don't want to just like build another social network because we could have just like used LinkedIn to do like this connect and learn. It was important for us that our space enables collaboration. So we want people to find each other and to work on projects uh, which uh, are at the end uh, go, like going back to the like going to the direction of development back home. So we like this space, this Diaspora in Action platform does enable the three uh, three different aspects: so connect, learn, and collaborate. And we have a couple of examples, especially for collaborate, that we are like really proud of. I can mention one. Uh, so we have recently built a uh, kind of a um, I would say like a knowledge group or like uh, an expert group around uh, the like, uh, energy transformation uh, sector. So we thought um, it has started, like we have we have our platform and it has just started with a uh, someone posting about um, the energy transformation in Tunisia. And like now in, in the energy field, there is a new trend, which is like green hydrogen. And someone posted about it and said, yeah, yeah like why aren't there any initiatives about green hydrogen in Tunisia? And then other people who are also experts in the field, like in the field of energy uh, and the energy industry, they commented on that. So what we did there, uh, because we have our kind of process on how to uh, make out of these ideas kind of collaboration groups. So we have created this collaboration group and we have put all these people together and said, uh, let's sit together and let's see what we can do. So we sat together, we have discussed on um, different things that we can do, that we can um, do in the direction of like of development in Tunisia, and we thought since we have so many experts here, and there are no um, initiatives related to green hydrogen in Tunisia, yet let us start with the study. So we have decided to um, create a study together because like we have a lot of experts, as I said, and they can create this analysis. And the goal here for us is also like to go to Tunisian government and collaborate with them and um, deliver this study with them. So this is one example that emerged from uh, from our digital platform.